Hey, dipshits, it's Hunter. Just want to remind you that you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Older and Dumber. That way you can keep up to date on any news we have going on or alerts, all types of different things. But either way, here's the show. Later, dipshits. This is a fucking podcast now. <laughs> it's us just playing with toys. We're never, we're never doing. Dude, I'm like so. Are we seeing close. who finishes first? Is Joey doing his? No. Yeah, I'm letting you do your thing. You've got a back of a star scream. It looks like you got to do something with that head. I know. I don't know why. It, like, because I don't want to force it, but it, like, yeah. it doesn't seem like it's. So, doing is, there, it. is there a rotation? No. Pivot. I'm so confused. See, like, look at this shit. Hunter's just dead silent. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> I brought Starscream for Hunter. If you've listened to the podcast, you know that Starscream was the Transformer took with him when he went to live in the trees. <laughs> when I ran away from home. I don't know. I kind of feel like an idiot sometimes. Although I am an idiot, so it kind of works out. Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? That's so funny. The last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Put that cookie down! Now! That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life because that is not a plan. What's your record for consecutive questions asked? Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tyler on? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Guys, welcome once again. It's another Friday, and this is the Older and Dumber podcast. You live, monochromatic color, straight from our hidden studio, deep within the mountains of central New York. I, of course, am your host for your journey through time and space, the Slooty One. Who will draw you the booba for Moolah at Sluty Mage, Joey Schichtel. Of course, I am joined by my co host, uh, the conniving, backstabbing, groveling coward himself, Starscream, at Voice of Hunter, Hunter Taylor. Like, who you know how great of an intro that would be if I actually got the part of Starscream for something? Oh, that would be that'd, be that'd be a great thing. Yeah. And of course my uh What's up guys, it's me. Uh and of course to my other part of the room, we have Cardboard King, <laughs> Financial Mogul. Oh, introduce him like he's wheeljack. Uh we have he doesn't know anything about very <laughs> nice sports car. <laughs> Uh, leader, not a leader, uh, lieutenant in the Autobots, Mr. Wheeljack himself gets ripped in half in Michael Bay series. No, that's Jack. That's Jack. Basically the same character. What? Not at all. I forgot about Jay. It's getting ripped in half. That was yeah, tragic. It was fucking brutal, bro. At Deagle Eagle. <laughs> At Deagle Eagle. Hey, that's me. Carter Ruddle. It's me, Carter Ruddle. Jack was my favorite growing up, along with a few others, because I I really liked Ironheart. Dude. Ironhide? Ironhide. He was like the Chad. He was the second in command. He was the boy. Real Giga. He yeah. was he was in the Bayverse. Yeah, and then they killed him. I'm these guys are confused. But look, I'm there. So for context, I'm um, there. I brought a few of my studio series Transformers with me to the studio this week. I'm because there, we're going to be Joey. talking about Transformers uh, when we get to topics. And I wanted some visual aid to help help my pals along the road of Transformers. And it might have been a mistake. <laughs> it might have been a mistake. You're, you're ahead of where you needed to be. There's a rotation or a pivot or something that you missed. I think I need to rotate missed. the entire torso. Yeah. But then I need to... Undo the legs. That looks like Hunter missed a rotation as well. Our scream still has backwards. Also, it was Hunter's turn to buy beer this week, and he bought not local. Yeah, I already talked about that. Crazy. Bought uh, Jack Daniel flavored beers. The www.countrycocktails.com. Long, long tail attached to a plug goes into an orifice. Excuse me. <laughs> I assume that's what a cocktail is. 
I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I need to be the first one. Yeah, I'm sure one of you is going to figure it out before the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the arms, man. The arms. This is. I wish we had video so y'all could Riveting. watch this competition. Riveting. So anyway, um, my week was all right. Um, didn't really do a ton of stuff, but for context for this show, I have been watching a series that I hadn't given a chance up until this point, but was very impressed when I started watching it, and that's Transformers Prime. That's yeah, good. Oh, so good. And very good. It gets worse, fortunately. Yeah, I hear they do some weird, like, Beast Wars shit in there or something. Yeah, it gets a lot worse. But, I mean, the first season has been great. Yeah. First season was peak. Peak Transformers. Enjoying that, and, you know... We uh we fought in D and D again, but we're gonna spare you that. There's something happening here, and what it is ain't exactly clear. Boom! I'm the best. <laughs> fucking die! Let's go! Tell me I'm not a fucking Transformers fan again, biatch! Da 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 da! Dead. Star yeah, Scream. I gotta say, I'm surprised that Hunter pulled off the Star Scream transformation, leader class transformation, before you pulled off the deluxe class wheeljack transformation. I'm just confused. I can tell. Oh wait, okay. Megatron. That's a pretty good Star Scream. Hell yeah, bro! I'm telling you, yo, you should look up some lines and do some Star Scream lines. All right, let's do it. From Decepticon all the way, BB. Time makes all things possible. I can wait. That's a Starscream quote to Megatron in Generation 1 on getting his job. In your absence, I I, someone had to take command. Thank you there. I'm there. But where does that extra piece... Yeah, I don't know, man. Where does that... Wheeljack's head, probably. Do I give me a broken Transformer? Something's not right. Decepticons, it is with deep sorrow that I note for the log, Megatron's spark has been extinguished. All hail Starscream. Everyone believes you are deceased. Who am I to disappoint them, Master? Megatron. Decepticon superior. Autobots in fury. Who's that? Soundwave. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Jack. Next week we do uh Jad Jones, right? Sure. <laughs> so yeah, uh other than these dope ass fucking Transformer toys, uh Carter, how's your week been? Let's start with you. It was good. I had a good D D session. You know, kinda sad that you know, us three aren't getting along right now in D and D. Our characters. You anyways. sound like you were sad, out of side of character. You were you were getting a little meta gamey, huh? At the end. Yeah. Oh, I was just uh, sad that I fell and almost died after Jirek was like, "Oh, move over there. We'll be fine. No one will hit us with a rock." I move over there. I immediately get hit with a rock. Oh, Jirek thought you and were a lot more nimble. Thirty-two damage. <laughs> Jirek thought you were a lot more nimble than Thanks, that. Everyone's yeah, I'm not a samurai. I'm a small no, boy. you're not. Whoa. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, oh, other than that, that, getting closer to launching the store. Yeah, you said this week, right? When you were probably talking to either May. Yeah, either this Monday or next Monday is when you make the newspaper announcement, or that's no, already... that's already happened. It's oh, like okay. In the newspaper at some point. Uh, when we launch our digital, all our digital stuff, so our Discord, our stores, our socials, or. Everything. Oh man, who's gonna manage your socials? Uh, me and Ryan. That's not gonna. Yeah, no, it will be because it won't be on my personal page. Yeah, just that. Nothing else. That for now. Yeah. Nice, cool, 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 cool. What'd you do your with your week, Joey? I, did, I said I watched Transformers Prime. Joey already did his week. Yeah, we were just playing with Transformers. So the cool thing about Transformers Prime toys. Well, cool thing or not cool thing, however you think about it, is they made basically clones in the toys of different like colored yeah. like transformers. Repaints. Yeah, repaints. So there's a bumblebee and then there's a bumblebee that's blue and orange. Um, and they're the exact same toy. You can like mismatch them if you want. I have both of them. Um, or I had both of them. I thought it was funny that like 
they gave Cliff Jumper a toy, even though he's only in the series for like ten minutes. Yeah, I have Cliff Cliff Jumper, <laughs> or I did. But no, I thought um, characters are all because there's less. There's more time to focus on them, so they really get built out. But I think like RC is really well done in that series. Yeah. Um, bulkheads really cool. They're all good. Yeah, and they Wheeljack, but they all um, get like their own episodes and stuff too, yeah. so they get like their chance to shine. Like Wheeljack is a bigger character later in yeah, in yeah, because he shows up in the first season. He's there for like an episode. Yeah, but they they like retconned like what his backstory is. So he's like a I forget what they said wrecker. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, because he bulkhead. and Bulkhead are like and he bros. has fucking two katanas. Yeah, yeah, he's my. Giga Chad. <laughs> Speaking of voices of Transformers, Peter Cullen, dude. Oh, so we'll get awesome. we'll get to more of this on on topics because I actually want to bring it up for something. But man, like listen to Optimus is just there's something about the way the dude voices voices him that's just like gets me. Oh, he's fucking phenomenal. It's 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 crazy, and it's like because if you listen to his real voice for Optimus, it's leagues different and it's just so good how he can just he's able to control his voice in a way that's just so soothing and commanding i i only wish i only <laughs> wish speaking of voice actors hunter what'd you do this week i did a lot of the usual you know went to work and stuff like that and then uh i cried. went to what'd you say right yes i cried um every um every um <laughs> <laughs> all day every day yeah, all day every day uh used my crunch cup every day this week because i fucking love this that thing. breakfast guy now yeah dude because i he fucking, got a crunch cup i love my crunch cup dude i am not kidding this is not a crunch cup ad if you don't have crunch cup you need crunch to cup crunch if you cup. want to sponsor hunter has been using your product every day every fucking day oh it's so good i love it anyway i won't keep going on to that um <laughs> Yeah, I used that, uh, and then I went to the studio yesterday. Oh yeah, and do um, you get a do you get a role? I auditioned. You don't just audition then. Oh, you get them. I haven't been to the studio in like two weeks. Okay, so this is my this is my first day back in like you know two about weeks. This? No, um, it's been Mr. two weeks. Shareholder in the studio. What? Why? They told him he's not allowed to be there anymore. That's a lot. Um. It's anyway, week. <laughs> it's been about two weeks since I've been in there, so I finally went back yesterday and uh, had a really good time. Um. It was really cool. I was doing these roles that were a lot of, it was very, um, it was these roles for a show that they said, uh, has the equivalent energy of like Dragon Ball Z. And, um, and so I was doing the auditions for characters and it was a lot of fucking, I'm in there fucking yelling and like doing like action noises and charge ups and punches and like all these cool things. And, um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, I did this, uh, I did this line and if anybody watches or follows us individually on Instagram, you would have seen it. I posted a reel of me doing one of the audition lines, um, from yesterday where I scream, um, you're more than this spit. You're better than this. Um, and I was like screaming that in the booth and I was like, Hey, uh, uh, bleep or Logan, can you come in here and, um, and videotape this? I think it'd be really cool. So she comes in, she videotapes it, and, uh, and I was like, oh, man, this is really cool. So I posted it as a reel on my Instagram, and the rest of the day, I just like, oh, I got some likes and stuff. I was like, oh, cool, people are watching my Instagram, that's cool, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I get home that night, and I'm, like, hanging out, and we get done playing games, and I'm like, hey, babe, she was what? Like, did you see that thing I posted on Instagram today? She's like, oh, my God, yeah, I saw it. And I was like, oh, did you really like it? She was like, did you see the engagement? And I'm like... What? I mean, I saw like the likes. I like stuff. five likes. Yeah, well, uh, twelve. <laughs> and of course, I had to correct you for five more. <laughs> anyway, I was like, I was like, yeah, no, I saw like all you know the likes and stuff in the comment. And she's like, no, but did you see the views? And I'm like, what? She's like, you have over seven thousand. And I was like, what? So I fucking go on my Instagram and I look, and I have over seven thousand views on my Instagram reel. And I was like, what the fuck? So that was really cool. Uh, I've never had that many views on something, so that was really cool. dope uh and uh yeah so i was kind of on a little bit of a cloud yesterday and kind of a little bit today as well and i'm feeling good it's really nice and uh i know there wasn't like engagement but like there's people like that watched it like so that was cool like it reached people so that was uh that was really cool to see um so i was really happy about that um so i did that this week and then also while i was at the studio 
I was auditioning for the next character, and right when I went to start doing like the uh, my yells and charge up attacks for the other for the other character, the fucking studio blacks out. Right, because no, there was rain and yeah, no lights, nothing. I'm fucking in a dark room. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I fucking scream, and then the lights come back, and I'm like, oh, no lights got lights go off again. <laughs> I'm fucking yelling, and I'm like, oh my god! And then finally, the lights just uh, just go off, and I was like, oh, oh my god! I knew that was gonna happen, and then I'm like, oh my god! Everything we've done today. And I turn around, and I look outside of the studio, and I just see Logan going, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm like, what, 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 what? I walk out there, and the computer's still on. I'm like, oh, oh, it's still on! You can save, you can save! She's like, I'm trying, I'm trying! And just like getting the save button, and it's not doing anything. Like, it's just like a big circle, and nothing's happening. And then finally, it like just closes, and we're like, No! No fucking way! No fucking way! So we go in, we go into Pro Tools, and we see what we worked on. We clicked on it. It had everything we worked on that day. Oh, my God. Bro, I, it looked like Logan was going to die. Like, she was like, <laughs> and I'm on the other side of the glass being like, fuck. Just fucking fuck. God, just kill me right now. <laughs> I'm so I'm done. But, yep, everything's saved, so everything's good. Uh, it's getting all mixed today, actually, I think. And then they're going to send it over to me so I can send the audition. But... Oh boy, if I wasn't scared as hell, I about shit myself uh, again. That's creamy. <laughs> I shit myself. Oh, yeah, that's creamy. Uh, <laughs> people. That video ever upload? It uploaded. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, here, 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 here. Play it right now. Uh, we'll play it on the podcast. We'll play this is original content. Original only content for, only for y'all. Yeah, I don't even know if people will hear it because. Cameras, you're not the cameras, hear the it. microphones will probably not. We're gonna hear it. So, Hunter oh, comes out in for here. context. Hunter comes out of the bathroom today, work, working on the shipment. Uh huh. He's like, Oh my god, I've been over and made me head to shit. And he runs into the bathroom, comes out like 20 minutes later. Uh -huh. Whew, that one was creamy. <laughs> I did it. I was like, What's the fucking worst thing I can say when I walk out of here? And I was just like, Whoo, Joey, that was creamy. <laughs> So, came up with the dippy, dippy catchphrase today. Hey, it's creamy. <laughs> That's creamy. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, I, I think I had, a, I had a pretty good good week. Hey, guys. Did you know you can listen to Older and Dumber a week early? All you have to do is go support us on Patreon. Along with early access, you'll get to vote on polls that can change the show. If you want to know what kind of hell our editor May goes through each week, you can see her super top secret editing notes. All of this, plus more, at Older and Dumber, that's Older and Dumber on Patreon. Support us and become one of our little dipshits. Cool, so if our weeks are all cut up, I guess we have to get the topics, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> quite the episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing with toys. Um, so the first uh, order of business, I know we were talking about Peter Cullen and his Optimus voice earlier. Mm -hmm. There is a new uh, Transformers series coming out on Paramount Plus. Uh, and Optimus is not voiced by Peter Cullen. Oof. Uh, now, How do you know? I, because I've been doing some research into it. Um. Alan Tudyk. Oh, I love that. I mean, I hate it, but I love it. Like, I want Peter Cullen, but boy, do I not. Boy, do I love Alan Tudyk. So, what? I have to ask. Sure. Can you think of a role where Alan Tudyk, famous for Wash and Firefly, uh, played a character that you would say, okay, I could see this translating to Optimus Prime? The alien in Star Wars where he gave Rey the rations. <laughs> the slaver? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first thought that comes to my mind when I think of the Alan noble Tudyk Optimus is... Prime is the dirtbag slaver from Jakku. Alan Tudyk is K2SO. <laughs> he is, like, he is he's K2SO. He's also the dirtbag alien that gives him... Well, I just think his voice is deep in that. In the, the, the slaver that gives Rey the... Okay. I can't so that's remember like, that character's name. That's like the only character I can think of that his voice is like deep. When I think of Optimus Prime, 
I think of Autobots roll out. Well, maybe it's a younger Optimus Prime. Autom Optimus has always sounded like that. Younger Optimus Prime? You mean Orion Pax? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm just gonna fuck myself again. <laughs> Don't you know the lore? <laughs> the deep Transformers lore? They've changed it a few times, so. Um... Okay, so the slaver... But Orion Pax has always been Orion Pax. Yeah, the slaver guy from Jakku. What about you, Hunter? Do any of Alan Tudyk's roles come to your mind? K2SO. Why would that not you be... You didn't give us any reason. K2SO just... is just Alan Tudyk just... as a robot. You just said like a role. He's... he's not doing a robot voice. Like, he's not doing a voice. It's just Alan Tudyk. That... What do you mean? Like, you didn't... That's what voice acting is. You, you didn't... Change your voice. You weren't... No, but you don't... Okay, you change your voice, though. Like, you don't be... You're not... You don't talk like Hunter Taylor every time you do a role. Not every time. I'm saying sometimes. K2SO just is Alan Tudyk as a robot. Like, he doesn't make, like, that much of a voice. All right, we got IMDB coming open. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? All right, here we go. Um... Uh... Probably not Resident Alien. Oh, iRobot! Boom. Sunny. That's a good one. Um, yeah, I'd say Sunny. Uh, who is he in Zootopia? I want to know who he is in Zootopia. Is he the, the bull? Or no, not the bull, the lion. The mayor. He's Duke Weasel. Duke Weasel, who? Oh, he's the dude selling the the uh the fucking pirated movies, the pirated Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. Who is he in Wreck It Ralph? Um, do, 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 do. Fix it Felix. Is he Fix It Felix? I don't know. No, he's King Candy. Oh no, not King Candy. He is. He's King Candy. Who is he in Big Hero Six? He's the the, the corporate guy. Alistair Cree. Like the guy that's trying to make the company that the dude's trying to get vengeance on. Yep, so that seems good. Uh, who is he in Doom Patrol? Um, in Doom Patrol, Alan Tudyk is Mr. Nobody. That's the guy who's invisible. Mr. Brightside. Yeah, he's the villain for the first couple for the first season. Um, oh my God, you guys know he's in Transformers. Yeah, he did a voice already for Transformers, but it wasn't. He's Dutch. Alan Tudyk is Dutch. From which? From Transformers, Dark Side of the Moon. Who's he voice in Harley Quinn? Dark of the Moon. Clayface. Oh, Clayface, yeah. Yeah, bro. Bro, I love Alan Tudyk. He can do so much. No, I'm okay with it. Only, I mean, only it Clayface be Peter... when he's in his male form because Clayface gender bends in that. Uh, I, you know, I, I, um, I definitely love Peter Cullen. Why is he not? Why is he's Peter... too, like, wrapped up in the movies, I guess. Too busy. To do a series. Oh, there is a new movie. Coming yeah, they're out. working on like a post Bumblebee movie. I thought they were rebooting. Well, Bumblebee was the reboot. I thought Bumblebee was technically still in the Michael. It's Bay. a soft reboot, so it still considers the Michael Bay movies canon, but it's like restarting the franchise from Bumblebee, so that they can sort of redo the design. Fucking dumb. Hey, but Haley, man. Haley Seinfeld was in that movie. She was. So, she was, yeah. Acceptable. Acceptable. Acceptable! <laughs> I mean, you know, again. It'll, it'll be interesting to see because, like I said, that voice of Optimus is iconic. So iconic it's to the series. 100%. Do we Lord know what kind of style it's going to be? It's CG. Okay. Um, it looks. Not unlike modern sort of Disney style animation, that Disney Pixar look that you were used to, it's definitely drawing heavily from, which is you know pretty run run of the mill for three D movies these days. Is it a movie or a show? It's a show. It's gonna be on Paramount. Yep, Paramount Plus. Oh, Rise that. of the Beasts is the new movie. Mmm. We're getting the Maximals and the Predacon. I don't. What's a Predacon? Why? Predacon is what they renamed Decepticon. Oh, right, because they're all Predators. Why you know, do we need this? Because Ron Perlman's going to voice Optimus Primal. Ooh. That's okay. pretty dope. Alice Carter. Earthspark is the name of the name. Earthspark. It's a Nickelodeon. Cool. Hmm. Okay. 
How about this? If if you were a transformer, no. Oh, is this one of your things already? I think you're gonna say what I'm about to say as one of my topics. Well, I just said it without even having to think. Right if you down. were a transformer, what would your alt mode be? God damn it, that's exactly. Well, I'll say, what vehicle would you be? Is what I was gonna say. <laughs> but you don't have to be a vehicle. Can sound, I do a sound wave and blaster have shown us that you can be a cassette player. Yeah, can I be uh, two things? Can I cop out and do? You could two be a uh, because Astro they're, train. You know? They're uh, multi change. Yeah, right. The because Astro train. You want to be in an Astro train? No, I'm just saying, is this an option? Yeah. What's an Astro? Well, Astro train. Okay, so later on in the original series, they got they went through phases of like, okay, we need something new. Yeah. Well, you know, we have to sell more toys. Right. So there was a few transformers that could change into different two different. Alt Alt modes. Modes. So you'd have your robot, and then so, you'd have like a vehicle, Astro and then you'd have train. like a tank or something. If you want to guess okay. what Astro Train could turn into, I assume a space train. No, 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 a or spaceship train? or a train. Spaceship yeah. or a train. Spaceship or a train. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. Um. Okay. Cool. I would want to be a like a jet. A jet would be fucking yeah. dope. A or jet or a, kind of view a jet or a gun. No, there were Autobot jets. There was like one. Yeah, the homie. Jetfire. Jetfire was the homie. <laughs> the homie. Flying fast, danger zone, baby. There was no uh, Autobot guns, though. That was purely a Decepticon. No, thing. there was an Autobot sword. There was, there was Shockwave and there was Megatron. Those were the guns. Except Wait, there. I thought... All, no, all Transformers have some type of weaponry. No, no, but transforming but into a gun. Do they transform gun. into oh, a weapon? Oh, into a weapon. Transforming oh, okay. into a gun is like the coolest, most unique transform alt mode ever. <laughs> Shoot me, Starscream! Just <laughs> pick him up. Oh, oh, Megatron. What would you say? I'm gonna have to call HR. I would say Jet. Jet, probably. <laughs> a Jet? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'd probably turn into... Into a Challenger? Yeah. So you could mate... With your <laughs> mate with your challenger that's not how that works we're, we're getting into that later i don't think that's that's how that works no uh, you know like muscle cars got some thick so i could you know pull that off without being a truck or a, i don't know being a truck could be cool you have your whole like your whole optimist thing as long as you're not a ford truck because you know shenanigans starting well so there's those. there's what you can turn into but what you turn into is also going to be kind of like what type of transformer you want to right like if you go with something like smaller or so you go with the muscle car like like the challenger that means you're probably going to be like a, a tank like a no i would say more like a uh, like a dps like mid-range dps as a challenger. no the dps is Bumblebees, like Bumblebees, Bumblebees, or camaros yeah and he's a dps he's not I a thought tank. you said truck like a truck would be like a tank yeah yeah i was talking about his challenger Oh, you're He's right. Saying, I said his challenge. Like based on your alt Yeah, based mode, on your alt yeah. mode. Sort of. Yeah, what would you, like, like, what type of transformer you'd be? So, Joey would be more like a DPS type of, of transformer, and, like, with you being a jet... It's also DPS. But, like, long range rather yeah. than mid range. Like, you're, you know... Uh, Joey would be more considered faster, like, on the ground running, but, like, in your alt forms, you would be fast. Um, so, like... That depends. I think I would go maybe small, like a like a motorcycle kind of thing. Two wheeler over here. Yeah, I think I think I'd do that if I were to It'd go. Be a scout, right? But I also really like being tank. So for tank, I was thinking like a big EMS vehicle. Oh, so like when an ambulance, are we like when ratchet. are we starting our Transformers TTRPG? Yes, bruh. Yes, let's <laughs> fucking do it. Yeah, are I'm there so are there classes in that anime five e book that you oh, have? Oh sh. Probably. Yeah, I don't know if it has Transformers. Uh, because it's anime. I don't think it's considered. Our motto um, is. <laughs> you're not wrong. Doesn't count. Transformers role playing core role playing game core rule book right here. Pre order. It's not out yet. Ooh. Who's That's... who's doing it? Um, Renegade Games. Okay. Yeah. Dang. It's only fifty five bucks to pre order it. Hardcover uh that's what it looks like what kind of system is it if it's genesis then this whole looking right now <laughs> hold on the window because renegade made genesis um there's a character journal which looks fucking dope um yeah there's two alternate covers for the core rule book there's uh the the and books. autobot no it's uh oh actually well no there's not a decepticon one they look like they're both autobots okay maybe you can't play as a decepticon 
Oh, Character sheet looks really dope. Um, oh no, dude, it's polyhedral. It's D twenty. We got all the dice. They got special. They got special uh, dice for it too. Oh, that's cool. Do they have numbers on them or spots? Numbers. Yeah, one through twenty, and then they have, there's a D six, D four, D six, D twenties, D tens. Good. good. <laughs> Yeah, bro, this looks... Uh, oh, you can get the PDF for 38 I got a GM screen for it, too. Guys, we're... We don't have time. We have so much. When will we play? It, um... Oh, there's only, uh... You have strength, speed, smarts, and social. Your strength determines toughness, speed for evasion, smarts for willpower, social for cleverness. I wonder you if you... have an uh, essence? I'd be, inter I'd be interested to see it, because it's got to be... Kind of heavy because you need a whole like, like vehicle mode rule set and robot mode rule set. Yeah. Uh, all right, ready for some of the skills? You have athletics. Oh, you get specializations through each skill too. So you have athletics, brawn, uh, intimidation, might, acrobatics, driving, finesse, infiltration, initiative, targeting, alertness, culture, <laughs> science, survival, technology. Streetwise, persuasion, performance, deception, animal handling. Ravage, eject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is dope. It's really cool. Yeah, I'd be into playing this. Uh anyway, uh yeah, so I'd either be yeah, so I'd either be a motorcycle or I would be like a uh like a big EMS vehicle. Like a military EMS. Um, big class. Yeah, something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that's what I'd do go with. Like Hunter drawing his basketball playing picture all over again. You trying to say? Trying to say that you were more on track when you were like on a motorcycle. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'd be like an old biplane. What the like, fuck? Yeah. First you go to like super like cool the spaceship, crazy, the train. crazy old like transformer. Fucking Carter hasn't trans scanned since 1918. <laughs> 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 Don't I'm underestimate getting, me, yeah, you I'm getting seekers. So old. One of my propellers is like my sword. Oh my god. Dude, I always did I did think like the helicopter designs were cool. Yeah. As they always worked the props in as some kind of like shield or weapon. I will say the helicopter from the Bay Burst was pretty dope. Yeah. The yeah. big like rescue helicopter that yeah. was a Decepticon. Yeah, that one was that one's pretty dope. I like that yeah. a lot. Um Man, being a Transformer sounds really fun. <laughs> True. Yeah. Now, if you've never played the War for Cybertron games... I hear those, Ian. We just had somebody really in the good. store the other day. They're yeah. good. They are good. Yeah. They were definitely good. Um, the I played the shit out of the multiplayer. Yeah, the multiplayer was a lot of fun. Yeah, I played the fuck out of it. I think it was a good time. Oh, bro, if, if May was a Transformer, she'd be like one of the military drones. <laughs> that seems a lot like May. So she sure. could like photo air drone snap, snap, air snap, video snap snap snap, 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 snap. I did think that was a cool look for uh Soundwave in Prime. Yeah. Doing the the military drone thing. Have you guys been watching Prime? Is that what's up? I've been watching Prime, yeah. Uh <laughs> Minicon, I think you know, I would like an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> you remember from <laughs> the, the Bayverse, the first God. movie? <laughs> in the Bayverse in the first movie. Yep. When it they like pops out of the box, like, like, <laughs> like yeah, it pops out of the box. Yep. Like, Wee -wee -wee. So That's you know, in um, I think it was episode two or three, they had the little uh, mines they shot out and they attacked the starfighters. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think I would have my uh, stereo eject and be something like that. Hmm. I could go That's on like cool. a little little crab bot, spider bot that could go on and fuck up other guys. That'd That's cool. cool. So for mine, for being the Humvee, the like EMS Humvee. It would be, uh, so when I'm driving and stuff, it looks like it's just like, a, I don't know, probably like a tank or something on my, on the Humvee, but I can make it eject and it turns into like a, like a dog. It has like water pumps and stuff on it and helps rescue. That's a Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's on, this guy's on, this guy's part of the Transformers rescue bots. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, but That's then if it was, but then if it was that I was a motorcycle, um, it would probably be, um, your sidecar. <laughs> yeah, it could be the sidecar. You're not wrong. Um, I was going to say it would be something to do with like the rims of the 
Mm-hmm. Um, and they that come out. Cool. Yeah, like like the rims of the wheels. It's like two. Like they're they're small enough the that wheels, if they're together. The wheels being their own independent like gyros. Yeah, like they could roll and have like little bots that came out of them. Yeah, like uh, Dio. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm talking about. That'd be cool. Not that Dio. D zero. Yeah, come on, Chief Carter. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty dope. You guys want to do some Transformers trivia? Sure. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll start off really easy. You ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, who was the original leader of the Decepticons in the Transformers animated series? I mean, it's Megatron. It is Megatron, yeah. Right. Start off really easy. Okay. In the opening scene of The God Gambit, which Autobot was shot down by the Decepticons and crash landed on Saturn's moon Titan? This went real deep, real <laughs> fast. <laughs> That's the first question. First question. Not shitting you. Decepticons. That's a great question. Not Megatron. shitting you. Not shitting so you. Right. In the third second of episode 47. <laughs> That's question one to question two. No shit. I don't fucking know. Who was shot down? Uh, so there's four different answers, uh, but it's Cosmos. It's oh, Cosmos. Man. Uh, oh, you could have said Silverbolt, Power Glide, or Skyfire. Probably said one like own. Uh, in five fire did crash all the time. Yeah, like his thing. Yeah. In five faces of darkness, part one, several Autobots were attending the first Galactic Olympic Games. During the games, Fucking mysterious, the 80s, <laughs> mysterious robots launched a surprise attack on the Autobots. They ended up abducting Ultra Magnus, Cup, oh, and Ultra which... Magnus, he was a Chad. Cup, and which human character? Um, oh, it was the sun, part of the probably. Choices. So, is there Spike? a multiple choice? Spike? It's probably Spike, right? I can't remember if Spike was the dad or the kid. I think Spike was the kid. And Spike was a cool name. Spike Witwicky. Yeah. Because yeah. Sam Witwicky's great ancestor. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. <laughs> uh, oh, in the opening scene, where does Rodimus Prime go to seek shelter from the Decepticons? Uh, part of Cybertron. Wait, in the opening scene of what? <laughs> uh, in Dark Awakening, Rodimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, RC, Cup, Spike, and Daniel Witwicky are aboard a damaged starship attempting to flee from Galvatron's warship after they launch the escape so this ship. This is the after movie. the movie. This is like the season or so after the movie. It's an Autobot mausoleum, by the way. Uh, the oh, tra- yeah. This is like right after the movie when they're mm-hmm. trying to re- re- rejuvenate all of the Auto- old bot yeah. Autobots. The Transformers are sentient robots that come from what planet? Cybertron. Cybertron. That's an easy one. That's where they were created, though. Which Transformer was not seen in season one of the Transformers? Ultra Magnus. Well, it's multiple choice. Is it multiple choice? Oh, these are multiple choice, guys. Yeah, I huh. thought so. Oh, some of them are not all of them. My bad. Okay. Your Is options: <laughs> Grimlock, Astro it's Train, Grimlock. Sky Warp, or Bombshell. Is it? Season oh, I think it, no, no, I think one. it might be Astro Train. Astro Train doesn't show up till the movie. I don't think. No, Astro Train comes in on, in a season, but Grimlock comes in within the first season. I think. Yeah. They're both like accelerations of like we need something new, but I think Astro Train comes after Grimlock. You got to remember that these '80s shows seasons were like sixty episodes. That's true. <laughs> okay, what are our options again? Grimlock, uh, Astro Train, Train, Sky Warp, and Bombshell. So Sky Warp was one of the Seekers. So we he was there. It was, right. it was Starscream, Blitzwing, and Sky Warp. Yeah, it was the three of them. And then what was the Bombshell other? Bombshell is was another multiformer female transformer. Right. Though. Is Bombshell a f- multiformer? Bomb- uh, maybe, but I know it's a lady. It wasn't a lady, and RC was. Um. No, RC was early on, wasn't she? Five. Four. Let's do bomb. Three. Bombshell. bombshell. Two. Er. Was it was it Astro Train? It's Astro Train. You should want Astro Train's first. We should we talk ourselves. <laughs> Astro Train <laughs> first appeared in season two. Astro Train, along with Blitzwing, was the first triple changer. Yeah. His three modes were train, shuttle, and robot. Yep. 
Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker transformed into <laughs> what? Thundercracker. Transformed into what in vehicle mode? Jets? What jets specifically? F-15s. F-15 Eagle. You are correct. Silverbolt, the leader of the aerial bots, had a fear of what? Oh my god. I think it was flying. It's very it? 80s. I think it was flying. What, what else would that be? Heights. Heights? It, it was, is heights. Yeah. The leader <laughs> of the aerial bots had a fear of heights. Yeah, it's like 80s move right there. <laughs> <laughs> Which Decepticon produced the Energon cubes from his chest? Oh, it was... It was Soundwave or what's the... Uh, Soundwave or... Oh, it's a multiple choice. Thundercracker, Megatron, Devastator, or Soundwave? Devastator. Well, if it's... I mean, Soundwave did have the chess gimmick, but I think that was just for the mini bots. Devastator's the Constructicons. I think it might have been Devastator. Because that's what the whole arc was, I think. He's, they the, were first, trying to make he's the first combiner. I think it was Devastator. We're going to go with Devastator. <laughs> We'd like Devastator, please. <laughs> the answer is Soundwave. Fucking Christ! God <laughs> damn it, Joey! You talked me out of it again! <laughs> Who was the leader of the Autobots? What? Optimus Prime. Yes. Optimus Prime. Well, would be at, correct. at what point? It just says, just says that. Uh... <laughs> I knew it was Soundwave. God what damn it. was he's the one in the like the factory in like the first season? He like makes the Energon cubes out of the energy. Let's see if you guys know this. What was the name of the only five episode story arc in the Transformers series? We have talked about it already. Oh, probably na, na, Faces na, of Evil. Na, na, na. The Five Faces of Darkness. Yeah, close enough, Carter. That's the one, right? That's the one we talked about earlier about Rodimus, right? Mm. Is that that one? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense because they were redoing the movie. Like, it was right after the movie. The post-movie episodes began yeah. with the five-part arc, The Five Faces of Darkness. Because it was right after the movie and they were trying to re... Which vastly expanded the limited role played by the Quintessons in the movie. The other three were three-part stories. Complete the often repeated quote from Optimus Prime. Autobots, transform and roll, roll out. out. Nice. <laughs> Transformers knowledge is mid. Which of these yep. characters? We're mid. No, we've done well. I think we've done better than we think. And also <laughs> we've gotten some of them right where we've talked ourselves out of it. Yeah. Which of these characters was not one of the three original F-15 Seekers to debut in Season 1 of the Transformers. Starscream, Thundercracker, Skywarp, or Slipstream? Slipstream. Yeah, was slip. Slipstream is correct. Ding, 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 ding. I believe Slipstream was one of the Coneheads. Mm. The God Gambit was used to give a certain Decepticon Triple Changer some star treatment by giving him the lead villain role. Which character was it? Tripticon, Blitzwing, Astro Train, or Octane? I was really oh. expecting Starscream to be on this list. He's not a Tripticon. He's not a Triformer. I think it's Astro Train. It's always Astro Train. Always Astro Train. <laughs> the answer. The answer is Astro Chain. Yeah, it's always Astro Chain. Oh. The Decepticon Triple Changer Astro Chain was given the lead villain role in The God Game. Yeah, because it was the main character. The Decepticons were the first group suspected to have been behind the attack of the games. What was the name of the planet where the Decepticons were discovered to have taken refuge? Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. It's is this a multiple one. choice? It's not. Damn, bro. <laughs> After the Decepticon leader Galvatron was defeated by Rodimus Prime in Transformers the movie, the remaining Decepticons fled to a dark, lifeless planet named Char. So that was post-movie. They were seen fighting amongst one another for what little energy was available to them. Rodimus Prime suspected the Decepticons were responsible for the attack at the games and went with Grimlock to Char to investigate. Bro, I'm pretty sure they got um, an IDW comic story about that, where the on, on that planet start cannibalizing each other. And, like, Starscream's in charge at the time. 
And when Megatron shows back up, Starscream feels like such a failure that he wants Megatron to kill him. Oh, wow. Pretty no, dark. No. Uh, I would like to go on record saying I like the Transformers. Michael Bay. They're okay. I like the first one. First one's great. I even think the second one's good. The second too. one's bad. Why do you think the second, second one's bad? The second one's bad? the worst one. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the second one is absolutely the worst one. I like the one with Mike, Mark Wahlberg. Mark like Wahlberg! The fourth one? Yeah. That's the reboot. No. The soft reboot. They continue the story. They There's don't. No Sam Witwicky. There's no Sam Witwicky. I'm Sam Witwicky. There's no Michaela. Kayla. Megan Fox? Oh my god, it is? Interesting. I always assumed they always cast her as Megan. <laughs> it was an M name. It's an M name, so it's about the same. Did you guys know that after she did Transformers, like the first one or the second one, she was like, I never want to be in a movie with CG again. That was awful. Michael Bay is horrible. All these things. She's like, I don't want to do any more CG movies. And then she goes and fucking does Ninja Turtles twice. Two more Transformers <laughs> movies. <laughs> Two more Transformers movies. <laughs> Ninja Turtles was a and Jennifer's body, and Jennifer's body. Yep, Ninja Turtles was a disappointment. What yeah, you didn't like Ninja movies, Turtles? Yeah. The shell shot. They were absolutely. You mean, they had shell shot. The they weren't Turtles puppets. Remember. I I agree. No, I love the '90s Turtles movies. Those ones are really good. Like when they go to Japan. That I one was the worst now. one. Oh that my one god! Was... I love that one. <laughs> that one was the worst one. What the fuck? That I like that, that one. The puppets. They changed the puppets. Yeah. They weren't as good. Because it wasn't Jim Henson. Yeah, it's always it what I like is always studio. what they hate. It's never, it's never the other way around. It's no one ever likes what I like. The, 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 the third the one is okay. The here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Every time you two are like, "Oh, I love this one," and I'm like, "Well, I like this one." <laughs> May in the notes every time is like, "I like that one too, Hunter." You're not alone. And I'm oh, like, she oh, just cool. wants you to make you feel better. Fuck you. <laughs> that's why like, I want you to quit the podcast because you're the only one that records ads. Oh my god. <laughs> um, the third one was fine. It just wasn't as good as the first two. Yeah. First two were fucking great. I could watch those movies all the time. How do you not like the one where they go to Japan? I didn't not like it. I thought it was the weakest out of the three. It was not great. It just gets away from the concept too much, I think, for yeah. me. So cool. Like, they weren't even ninjas. They were samurais. Yeah. <laughs> like, why go back and they had not to learn honor ninjas? They had to learn honor. Oh, boy. They had to be honorable. They didn't song. learn honor from, like first movie when they all cried around the bonfire when splinter's like you're all my sons yeah no that's not honor that's family the second one opened. but no like i, I really want to check out the bumblebee movie now like it looks really good um hey, it's sort of help. yeah sort of excited to see where transformers goes from here. this has been content brought to you by content creators older and dumber <laughs> that's our new outro yep this has been content brought to you by content creators older and dumber next week on your content get content on your content streaming content provider thank you all again for joining us this has been great uh episode about toys and much love you all see you later dipshits roll out Nice. Roll out. Add an add an Autobots roll out in there, man. Autobots roll out. Autobots roll out. Perhaps for the last time.